This is a dissected model of the nervous system. And the nervous system can be divided into the central nervous system and the peripheral nervous system. The central nervous system is the brain and the spinal cord. And the peripheral nervous system is sensory and motor nerves coming in and out, or everything else but the brain and the spinal cord. So the ventral rami of the spinal nerves all form plexuses except in the thoracic region. So the first plexus we come to is the cervical plexus, and this arises from C1 through C4, and some are C5, and there is one nerve that you need to know from this plexus, and it is this nerve here, which is the phrenic nerve, and it innervates the diaphragm. The brachial plexus arises from C5 through T1, and it has trunks and divisions and cords and terminal branches, and the only nerve that we can identify for sure is the axillary nerve, which is right here, which innervates the deltoid and the teres minor. We can't really distinguish which nerves these are. From the brachial plexus down, we have the intercostal nerves, and the intercostal nerves run all the way down till we get to T12, and since we don't have a 13th rib, T12 is considered a subcostal nerve. You can also see each side of the spinal cord, we have this rose, and this is the sympathetic trunk ganglion or the sympathetic chain ganglion, and this is part of the sympathetic nervous system branch of the autonomic nervous system. Coming down to the lumbar region, we have the lumbar plexus here, which originates from L1 through L4, and there are two nerves that you should know that arise from this plexus, which are the femoral nerve and the obturator nerve. The obturator nerve innervates the adductors of the thigh, and the femoral nerve innervates the quadriceps. Unfortunately, we can't distinguish which is which. Then comes the sacral plexus, which is L4 through S4 and the longest and largest nerve in the body arises from this plexus, and this is the sciatic nerve. The sciatic nerve is actually two nerves together, but it innervates the hamstrings, the posterior compartment of the thigh, and then it splits into the tibial nerve here, which innervates the posterior compartment of the leg, and the common peroneal nerve, which later divides into the deep and the superficial. We have a nice division here. Unfortunately, we don't know which is the deep and which is the superficial. However, the superficial branch innervates the lateral portion of the leg, and the deep portion innervates the anterior compartment of the leg.